Number 63. What is the minimum diameter mirror on a telescope that would allow you to see details as small as 5 kilometers on the moon, some 384,000 kilometers away? <clears throat> Assume an average wavelength of 550 nanometers. All right. Uh, so here's a little picture. The distance between these two points on the moon over here is going to be 5 kilometers, or in other words, 5,000 meters. I'm just going to convert it. I might not even need to, but, you know, I just convert it anyway. They're telling us that the basic distance, now notice, I mean, the angle is going to be like uh, pitolence, right? But uh, <clears throat> notice the particular, you know, uh, length here of that uh, radius, essentially, is uh, 384,000 kilometers, so that means it's 384 million miles. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean meters, meters, oh boy, all right, yeah. Um, man, like the past several, I just, I, I, my mind is like, I'm trying, I'm trying hard, guys, but uh, it's it's a little early. It's a little early. So um, anyway, um, but uh, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? What are you gonna do? I mean the the guys outside chopping up the trees. They're here early too. You know what I mean? Around 7 a.m. they start. Right? Isn't that great? Right? Wake up to the sound of chipping wood. All right, let's do it. So what are we doing? I have no idea. Let's get back. All right. Do it. Do it. Just just, just do it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. So what do we need to figure out? We need to figure out the minimum diameter mirror. So in other words, according to this formula, we need to find D. So in other words, we have theta is going to be equal to 1.22 times the wavelength divided by D. So solve this for D. Just simply cross multiply. Theta goes down to the bottom. So notice we don't have theta. That's what we need. Well, how do we find theta? Well, we can use that arc length formula, right? Theta r is going to be equal to the distance or the arc length. We know that distance, the arc length, so to speak, is 5,000. We know the radius, 384 million meters. Just take r and divide it, and there's your theta. So now what you can do is you can just simply take 1.22 lambda divided by now l over r, which would be, I mean, the same thing as right, multiplying by r in the numerator, dividing it by l. All right, so now this is 1.22 times the wavelength of 550 nanometers, but you know we need that in meters, so just multiply that by 10 to the minus 9th. The radius here is 384 million meters, and then divide that all by the 5,000 meters. And go to town. So 1.22 times 550 times 10 to the minus 9th times then 384 million and then divide that by 5,000. And I get a value here of about, I guess, 5.15 times 10 to the minus two, it looks like. And that's in terms of meters. It's about 51 millimeters. All right, would be then the uh, <coughs> the diameter. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helps. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Not sure when. I think I need at least, I don't know, a month off maybe. No, just kidding, right? You're all like, no, no, don't do it. I know. Maybe a couple of hours if you don't mind. We'll see you soon.